Okay, you guys, seriously, it's like nighttime, but I had to make this video because I was too excited to not share it right now. So as soon as my kids went to bed, I came up here and press record so I can get this um, info to you guys. So one of the coaches on my team, Shari, made these freaking awesome, amazing, incredible meal planning tools that I think are going to totally, totally help us with the struggles that everyone has with meal planning. I thought our other sheets we had were awesome, but these are like, what? Take the entire guesswork out of everything and they're the best thing ever. So I'm going to share my screen so I can just show you guys how to use them. I can first find it would be awesome. Um, hold on one sec. Sorry, you guys. I already tried to make this video like four times and I was doing things wrong for some reason. Okay, but I'm going to find it now for real. Um, anyway, so it's going to make a really, it's going to make a really big difference in all of our meal planning struggles that I know we all have all the time. So I'm going to open this one up. Okay, awesome. I got it. Sorry. Sorry for the Okay, cool. So here it is. So this is the meal plan document. So this one happens to be for plan two, which is the second category or the second bracket um, with calories. We have them for every single calorie bracket. I'm going to upload every single one of them into our challenge group so you have access to whatever calorie bracket is yours. So um, they're awesome. So this is the specific breakdown that Hardcore wants you to use. So this many things for breakfast, this many specific containers. So basically they're using most of the carbs and fruit earlier in the day. So you go here, you go to your day. So let's say you're starting on a Monday, you, you do that. Then you'll choose for breakfast. Let's say we'll do spinach. Let's say we'll do berry. Okay, watermelon. No, let's do berries. Let's do eggs for breakfast. I feel like that's a good breakfast. And then we'll do, um, let's do oatmeal. And maybe, what else? Maybe we could just do double meal or whatever. Let's see. Let's do an English muffin or a bagel. Okay. So this is now, you get to go into each color and choose specifically what you want to use for each meal. So there's like no guessing at all. Everything is there for you. So now they want you to have Shakeology as a snack. So you can go in here and you can just choose Shakeology. You go here, you choose fruit. I happen to enjoy bananas in my Shakeology. And then for my teaspoon, I'll always use um, almond butter. That's my favorite, especially in shakes. So then for blue, let's say we'll go with almonds for, for our snack. And then for lunch, let's go with like um, tomatoes and let's do, uh, let's do turkey slices. And then let's do, I don't know, let's do ham slices because they're right next to each other and that's easy. And then we can do, we have a yellow, so let's do a uh, pita. And then let's choose dressing. So one of the dressings in the meal plan book. So here is your, you have a pita, you have your cold cuts, you have your tomatoes and your dressing and voila, there is your lunch. And then for dinner, let's choose Brussels sprouts and chicken. There's your day. It's so easy to plan this way. It's ridiculous. And so now what you can do is take your chick, like your, if you're making chicken and Brussels sprouts, say you're grilling chicken, do a bunch and then you use the extra for the next day, right? So we'll do chicken and then we'll do the Brussels sprouts and then we'll do whatever. For, for instance here, like, okay, let's just do like cheese. Okay. Maybe we want cheese with our chicken that day. Um, but you get to break down everything you want. Like for me, I like to do things that make it easier and time saving so I can prepare everything ahead of time. So I would probably make the spinach and the eggs in little muffins, um, like ahead of time, like bake them in muffin pans where I just put the eggs and the spinach in and that way I could just grab it in the morning and like throw it in the microwave if I want it hot. And the same with the oatmeal, I could do overnight oats, which everyone knows I love. I would put that in the fridge overnight. It's ready in the morning. You can even pre-measure them out so that they're already done. You could just take them to go with you. Um, and it's so super easy and you can make that for the whole week so the morning has no prep time. The same goes for your lunches. Just like get your measure your tomatoes out, measure your slices of meat that you're gonna use. Make sure that it's, you know, one red container full and a whole wheat pita dressing. That's it for lunch. You can prepare those for the whole week ahead of time. So those are my like tips and tricks. But I really think that this document here is the jam. I think it's going to like change our lives as meal planners. So I had to share it tonight and I hope that it helps you. I'm going to share mine already filled out for you tomorrow. Um, and you can obviously use it. Uh, 
and or you can use your own. So all the documents will be in the challenge group. This video will be in the challenge group to help you. And yay, I'm so, so psyched about this, you guys. Good night.